Bayga, the Turkish aerospace company that produces the Bayraktar TB2 unmanned aerial combat vehicles which have played a starring role in the Ukrainian war, has started the first ground tests of its new Kizi Lailmar drone. The Akinji Flight Training and Test Center in the northwestern province of Tekirnag, which included taxi runs ahead of its first flight, provide us with our best looks so far at this unique uncrewed air vehicle. This would appear to be aimed at a range of combat roles and, which is also supposedly being developed for operations from aircraft carriers. The Kizi Lailmar is a very different proposition, however, claimed to be supersonic at least in later versions, having a degree of reduced observable characteristics, and tailored for the kinds of air combat missions, typically undertaken by manned fighter jets. Powered by a single Ukrainian-designed Uchinko Progress turbofan engine, the Kizi Lailma has a Kanad Delta configuration, of the kind seen on some other reduced observable combat aircraft designs including China's J-20 man fighter and drone. The use of canards is a trade-off between low observability and maneuverability, although some measures can be taken to limit their impact on radar signature. The tail surfaces consist of canted vertical stabilizers. According to the technical requirements, the Kizi Lailmar should have an endurance of 5 to 6 hours, a combat radius of 500 nautical miles, and a service ceiling of 35,000 feet. Maximum takeoff weight is 13,228 pounds, including a payload of 3,306. That payload will include disposable stores carried in an internal weapons bay, further preserving its stealth characteristics. Weapons are likely to include examples of the wide range of air-to-ground precision munitions, and air-to-air -air missiles developed by Turkish industry. While the first prototype Kizi Lailma, and other early versions, are expected to be powered by a non Afterburning, if Chenko, Progress AI-25 TLT turbofan, this is planned to be replaced on later versions by an afterburning if Chenko Progress AI-322F, which should ensure supersonic performance. Even with the non-afterburning engine, the Kizi Lailmar should offer impressive performance for a drone, with a maximum speed close to Mach 1. There is a plan for a twin-engine version, with a pair of AI-322Fs for further improved performance. In its initial form, the engine exhaust is decidedly non-stealthy, although it's feasible that low observable characteristics could be improved by refining this area, something that Russia is doing with its Okhotnik drone. This aircraft has features to reduce its radar cross-section from certain angles, such as the fuselage chine lines, but clearly, High performance has been weighted more heavily than low observability. This is not something that we see typically in UCAVs, with the possible exception of the MQ-28 Coast Bat. The fast and high-flying Kizi Lailma is planned to have an air-to-air -air combat capability, as well as conduct intelligence, surveillance, and reconnaissance, ISR, and strike operations. Few details are available of the avionics and overall mission architecture that will be required to conduct counter-air missions. The drone will be fitted with some kind of active electronically scanned array. AESA, radar. It's unclear if the concept of the Kizi Lailma is based on a loyal wingman type drone companion to man fighters, or if the drone will be controlled from a ground station, or even if it will be expected to shoot down hostile aircraft with some degree of autonomy. The development of the Kizi Lailma began as long ago as 2013, although the project was only revealed to the public in July 2021, when conceptual studies were presented. The first flight is scheduled to take place next year. Another significant aspect of the Kizi Lailma is its claimed short takeoff and landing capability, which would allegedly allow it to operate from small deck aircraft carriers like the Turkish Navy's Anadolu amphibious assault ship, which features a ski jump takeoff ramp at the bow. The landing gear of the prototype Kizi Lailma seen undertaking ground tests appears to be far too lightweight to cope with the rigors of deck launches and recoveries. It remains unclear if the the Kizi Lailma in its basic form will have the required thrust for a ski jump launch, without catapult assistance. However, at this stage, it remains questionable to what degree Baiga will be able to configure the drone to undertake air-to-air -air missions. Thanks for watching.